for wings. And the Hebrew is the edges are the fringe of the garment. This is fulfilled when Jesus comes and he sees the woman touching the fringe of his garment and this fringe would be called the wings of his garment, the edges, the corners. Now listen to this and, and think of it in this manner again. For those of you who fear my name, the Son of Righteousness will rise with healing in the fringes of his garment, fulfilled with this woman. Now last week I brought to you a lesson concerning the man who had been possessed by a legion of, of demons and how they were cast out. When they were cast out, what he did, after he, was, they, he cast them out, this people of the city came and asked him to please leave. But he told that, that one individual, as he's trying to get in the boat with Jesus, he says, go and preach to, and tell all of your friends and relatives what's happened to you, what the Lord has done for you. <clears throat> and so we wonder, what is it that was done? How effective was this man's testimony? And when we, we, we look here at what Jesus did, he not only obeyed and understood the, the 613 of the commandments, but he fulfilled the prophecies regarding. In Matthew, the 14th chapter, the 6th verse, Jesus comes, or 36th verse, Jesus comes again. After leaving the other side, he comes and he comes to the side of of the Gentiles. And it says, the 31st verse says, And when they had crossed over, they came to the land of the Gennesaret. That's where the demons were last week. And when the men of that place recognized him, they sent into all of the surrounding districts and brought to him all who were ill. They sent out and, and got the people who were ill. And brought them to Jesus. And when they brought all these people to Jesus. And when. And they began to entreat him that they might just touch. The fringe of his garment. And it says as many as touched were healed. It takes one individual. To go in as a missionary. And make an impact on a community. And that one man who had been delivered made an impact on his community. This woman, this one woman who touches the hem of his garment, makes an impact, and some way or another, people begin to know if he touched the hem of his garment, the wing of his garment, there would be healing in his wings. And when he comes to the Gennesaret, they come and say, could we just touch the hem of your garment? Now, this morning, you're here to understand that there's more than just healing in a garment. There's healing in His Word. There's freedom in His Word. Nothing can come against you because he is there guarding and protecting you. He has not only healing in his wings, but he has healing in his word. He has healing in his presence. And so this morning we celebrate the time in which God has come. Jesus, the fulfillment of everything that God said he would do. And by doing so, he brings us healing. Healing in his wings. For the longest, I did not understand that passage. In fact, I looked up through so many commentaries this last week to find, what does it mean? What are they talking about? And they used all kinds of things. For instance, there the sun was a healing power. And Jesus was the sun because he was the light of the world. Sure, that's right. That's good. But they didn't know what in the world the wings meant. 
until you break it down and look at the word wings for the extremities. The tassel, healing, and its wings. So we celebrate the goodness of Jesus Christ and all that he does and all that he is and healing in his presence. Father, we thank you for this day. We worship you. Glorify you. You are worthy to receive our glory, our worship, and our adoration. We ask that all things, above all things, that you be our healer. You be our support. You be the one who brings to us completion. That there's nothing lacking in our lives. That you are our redeemer. Our deliverer. The one who brings completion. 